Speaking of Matt George, he joins us now with Kevin John at the Golden One Center. And guys, Darren Fox said it himself. It was a battle of wills, but they are certain, certainly learning a lot from this season and taking it into the next. Yeah, this was clearly a learning experience. This whole season was for the Sacramento Kings. Keep in mind, this was also the first season of Mike Brown being the head coach here. So, of course, they learned a lot together, and there's no better learning experience than going down Game 7 to the defending champions because, obviously, they'll take a lot from this, and they will move forward. But the Kings have no reason to hang their heads low. It takes a Herculean effort from Stephen Curry and 50 points in order to take down the Kings here in Golden One Center. But Matt, the Kings have a lot to be proud of after the conclusion of this season. Absolutely. If the regular season were just regular education, re regular learning experience, the Sacramento Kings got straight A's. What the King Kings got here during the playoffs is like an AP course, college prep, and now they now understand what it takes to win on this stage, but the reality is they were far more prepared than maybe even they realized, although this team believed, and they almost made it to the next round, and they believe they could go further than that. So it's very exciting to think about how this t Kings team can build upon this, what they can do this offseason, the work that they can put in, and when they get more time to gel together, how far they can go, considering this was their first full year together. However, that doesn't mean anything if you don't actually do it. So next year's going to have expectations. This year was a fun run. This year was a great uh, ride, and you're absolutely right. The Kings took the defending champs to the absolute limit. No team has really taken the champs uh, to the limit in an opening series the same way the Kings have. They did that. They can be proud of that, but now you got to build on it. You know, you talked about grades earlier and giving out grades. If I had to give Steph Curry a grade tonight, I would give him probably an A++ and then add another plus on top of that. It was absolutely phenomenal what he did. 20 points in the first half, 30 points in the second half, 35 years old, put the team on his back, and Matt, you said this yesterday. You said the Warriors, if they're going to win, Steph Curry has to come out and pretty much be a monster, which is what we saw today. Yeah, Steph Curry is one of the greatest players of all time, period. Certainly the greatest shooter of all time. And he's shown time and time again, heck, he, he did he made he won a whole championship for the Golden State Warriors last year by putting the team on his back. When the lights are brightest, when it matters the most, when the Golden State Warriors absolutely need someone to step up, Steph has made a career out of being that guy. It's the first ever in history 50-point performance in a Game 7. And I'm surprised Steph hasn't done it earlier in his career, to be honest. But the good news is the Sacramento Kings required that from Steph. And in order uh, to be knocked down, which again speaks to how far along the Sacramento Kings are. But all of us, whether we're rooting for the Kings, rooting for the Warriors, no matter who you're rooting for, you can all take a step back and we can all appreciate how great Steph is. Absolutely. The 50 points that Steph scored today, the most by an NBA player ever in a Game 7. Matt, we have about 30 seconds left. Any final thoughts or takeaways from this Kings season? What an incredible ride. The resiliency of the Kings, right, going from the longest playoff drought in NBA history to a number three seed, 48 wins, taking the defending champs to the absolute limit. It was just an incredible ride. I'm so incredibly grateful, and I'm looking forward to seeing what's next. Absolutely, and I'm going to quote what I heard one of the security guards here in Golden One Center said. He said, this is the end of a season, but the beginning of an era. Mm -hmm. And I think that it's safe to say these Sacramento Kings are on to something special. So it's going to be fun to watch. At Golden One Center, he's Matt George. I'm Kevin John. And, of course, we will have much more tonight on Toyota Sports Extra 1135 right here on ABC 10. Back to you guys in the studio. Yeah, they certainly had a lot of momentum going into this game. Mm -hmm. Let's keep that momentum going for the next season, mm -hmm. right? Oh, my gosh, the fans are rooting for them, the whole city, eyes of the country, too. You know, that's one of the things that was so amazing about this run. Mm -hmm. So many people slept on the Kings, yeah. and then we showed we are the real deal. We <laughs> almost took down the defending NBA champions. Yeah, here to play. Mm 